And on this, we would like now to um, proceed to the next part of this opening ceremony. But as you have understood, um, while the web conference was before uh, steered by the IWC2 committee, from this year we became we become an ACM um, conference. And it's my great pleasure to welcome on stage Dame Wendy Hall from the University of Southampton, Gabriel Cotis, the cur current ACM president, and Dick Buttelman from ACM. I'm going to stand here. <clears throat> These days I need something to hang on to when I stand. I'm not going to draw analogies with an, a world leader that's doing that at the moment. Anyway, um, hello, thank you. For that. I, I have to start. I'm Wendy Hall, by the way, if you don't know who I am. I'm from the University of Southampton, and I've been around this world since the very beginning. And um, that shows you how old I am. Uh, I met Tim before. Can you hear me okay? I met Tim before the web, um, so that tells you how old I am. Uh, uh, so um, I just want to say thank you to this year's team. And um, you know, it, this is it's it's really when you run a physical conference face to face, you sort of know what you've got to do. It's bloody hard. Sorry, it's very hard work. <laughs> but you sort of you know <laughs> you know you sort of know what you've got to do budget for. And then we all went on to online totally with uh, first of all. Taipei at like a month's notice and then last year in, in, in Ljubljana totally online and in that it, it's sort of controllable in that sense but as we emerge different but controllable as we emerge from those sort of bipolar worlds into hybrid worlds it's really difficult to know how to run a conference um, and how to budget and the team here have just been amazing um, uh, the, the statistics you saw there, I just wanted to pay tribute to them in terms of what they've done. There are a handful of us here uh, in Lyon because this is a very significant conference for the web conference. Um, and I'm going to talk about that. And I am about to transition IW3C2, the International World Wide Web Conference Committee, to the ACM. Um, I'll talk a bit more about that in a minute. Can we the next slide? Oh, is that... Oh, Right, here's the current members of IW3C2, many of whom are here because we really wanted to come to Lyon, if COVID permitted, in order to mark this transition and have a very fine meal as part of it. Um, the, this is the, the current list, many of whom are in the audience, not all of them are here, but there is a long list of IW3C2 alumni. It was started by Robert Caillou, um, who many of you will have heard of, even if you don't know, Tim's co-conspirator at CERN. And he inaugurated IW3C2 as um, uh, in Switzerland. So we have to run under Swiss bylaws, and Luke Moreau has been, been <laughs> dealing with them as we reconstitute ourselves um, in order to run the conference going forward from 1994. It's had many chairs, many members of the committee. Some of us have been around for a long while, but there's been lots of changes. I just want to make one po simple point. Everybody has always thought that this was the W3C conference. Nobody knows what IW3C2 is. Um, can't pronounce the acronym. So a lot of people, when they write about it, they say the W3C conference. Actually, there's a W3C conference. There's a track here, but there's a conference. It's the annual meeting this week somewhere else in the world. Um, and then when, when we transitioned... To the, for the proceedings, instead of publishing them ourselves, I think we had a deal with Springer initially, we transitioned and gave a commercial contract to the ACM to publish the proceedings and put the papers into the digital library. Then everyone thought it was an ACM conference, which it wasn't. <laughs> but it's about to become one. So we can forget all that, and actually everyone will be able to know what they're talking about going forward. Let's have the next slide. I think on here... Oh, no, I've got to do it, sorry. So that, um, if you're watching, I don't know how many, I've learned in co conferences that are online, you, you have 1,200 12, registered, you will not have 1,200 watching this little ceremony, but it's all being recorded, so um, hope people online will be able to make sense of that, I can't read it from here. But it is the oldest scientific conference about the web that was started in 1994. And just a couple of words about that, I don't know how many people here were at or online, were at the 1994 conference. I still had the T-shirt. 
Um, there were 300 people at that conference, and I remember Robert Caillou had to put his own personal credit card down to, to um, secure the hotel we ha they held it in. He, they didn't know, Tim and Robert, if anybody would come. They had to turn people, they had to stop at 300 and turn people away. And there were 300 at that seminal event, and I remember the post-event um, uh, event was in the grounds of CERN, and Dave Raggett came running out of CERN with a huge computer printout of HTML2. And that was about where the web was then. It was a, it was a developer's, it was an exciting, nobody knew where it was going to go. But the thing about the conference was, it was not a, a good scientific conference in that there was very little peer review of the papers. It was really just people saying what they were doing with this new thing called the web. Tim gave a fabulous keynote, which is, uh, I think you can get access to it on the W3C pages, in which he talked about the semantic web, but no one really heard him because no one knew what the web was in those days. And people would. So, what, what I got excited about with Robert and others who were at that first, I was on the program committee for the first conference, um, and we did publish the proceedings, which my paper was rejected from, I have to say, but it only had one reviewer. Um, <laughs> Anyway, um, we had to work. So that 1994 is 28 years ago. We had to work to make this one of the top scientific conferences in computing, or and actually in the wider world of socio-technical now. But um, and that's well, that's really what the IW3C2 is focused on, making it a, a really, really one of the top-ranking scientific conferences about the web, but actually one of the top-ranking. Uh, technical conferences, and it's now ranked A+. Plus. I don't know actually what that means, but anyway, but it's top, and with a 15% selection rate. And they had well, nearly 3,000 submissions this year. That needs an awful lot of reviewers. That's one of the problems. Right, I must carry on. It's also the most attended scientific conference about the web, and we rebranded a few years ago the web conference rather than WWW, or that other awful expression that people use, but we rebanded as the web conference. So um, I've talked about how we set up IW3C2. I will tell you one other story, and then I'll roll into the um, transition. So one other story was that I, at the time, was involved with the ACM, got more involved later, and the ACM had a SIG, a special interest group, a SIG special group, specialist group called Hi SIG Link. It was the hypertext community. And that formed in 1987, before the web. So we get to the middle of the 90s, and people are gravitating to the web conference, and the hypertext community was stalling. So when, um, uh, I think it was around, in 97, Southampton, it was 97, hosted the um, hypertext conference in Southampton. And we fixed our dates, and I said to Robert Caillou, whatever you do, when you set up the web conference dates, don't make them this week. The next thing I know, I have a phone call from one Bebo White saying, hi, I'm Bebo White. I'm running the web conference in that same week. So we had a clash. And I wouldn't give up. I never give up. So what we did, this was 1997. Uh, we actually set up a live video link between the two conferences and had Ted Nelson, of all people, giving a keynote in Southampton at the end of the day keynoting to the web conference as well. And then we had a joint panel, and that was the um, conference that Ted Nelson uttered the famous phrase, your future is my past. But moving on, <laughs> I then persuaded SigLink to become SigWeb, because I tried to explain to them that your world was going to shrink and the web world was going to grow. So they changed their name to SigWeb, but they never, adopted the, they never sought to adopt the web conference. And that's, I think, so I think of the web conference as coming home today to a very safe home. A couple of other things. I then joined the committee at the Brisbane conference. I kept somehow putting myself forward for re-election. And I thought the only way out of this committee for me was to agree to be chair. So I volunteered to be chair. And then we were looking at, so the YW3C2 is a one conference organization. And the conference organizers have to take the risk, underwrite the conference, in this day and age, that's incredibly difficult to ask people to do. It's about a million dollars, pounds, euros, whatever dingbats you work in. 
to underwrite a physical conference of this size. And it was impossible to do in the US because of the, the, you know, the universities in the US cannot volunteer to do this type of conference it's because of tax issues and all sorts of things. So we were looking at a future where too many of our conferences were losing money, so we weren't getting any franchise money. Uh, we couldn't run a conference in the US, we couldn't get volunteers. And so we started to talk very seriously to the ACM about whether we could transition from where we are now, healthy, right? Healthy in terms of finance, but the future is not sustainable, it, right, the way we run the conference now. And so we started talking to the um, ACM, and, and through Dick, who you're going to hear from later, Dick Bolterman, we got the link to SIG Web. Um, and I won't bore you with the story, but eventually um, w w the committee agreed this was the right way forward. We had several brainstorming sessions. We did the deal, signed the contract last year, and um, we're handing over today. So as of today, this is now the ACM web conference, and the ACM will manage it going forward. IW3C2 will still exist, but it will exist to manage the awards. We do the sole test of time award and the best paper award. So now, um, if you go back, I think the next slide puts the pictures up of the ACM people we have here. Oh, it's me. Sorry, I keep forgetting. Right. So it is now my absolute pleasure to... Not, yes. To... Um, <laughs> to hand over the running of something that is incredibly precious to me, the World Wide Web Conference, the Web Conference, to a great friend of mine, Gabrielle Kotzis, who is the current ACM president. And she turned her diary upside down to be here today so that I could hand her the Web Conference. And I'm giving, this is the token, what better <laughs> than the, the, the polo shirt and a volunteer Right, so Gabrielle, it is now yours. <laughs> Thank you very much, Wendy. Right, you say what you want to say. Thank Off you. you go. Yes, well, thank you very much, Wendy. Um, thanks to all of you for this wonderful gift, if I may say so. <laughs> um, you mean the conference? Right? I mean the conference <laughs> and the t shirt. <laughs> um, it is your effort, it is your contribution that made the web conference to what it is today. You have grown in size, which is incredible, but you also have grown in scientific reputation and input to the community. And I think this is a great achievement and I can only congratulate you. And I'm really happy that ACM is now moving from just moving your publisher to being your home. And I hope that we will be coming your home in the future. I'm here on behalf of ACM to guarantee you the continuing cooperation and support of ACM. And it's really my pleasure that this handover is between you and me, Wendy, because we know each other for so many years and we have achieved so much together and this is another great achievement. So also from a personal point of view, thank you very much. Um, what are the benefits from joining or being embedded now in ACM? Well, first of all, you already mentioned it. It's the organizational support, the financial stability that we can guarantee as a huge worldwide organization. We have reached, I think it was last year, more than 100,000 members worldwide. This also means that you will even further be able to increase the visibility of your conference. You might be able to reach communities across your web community within computer science, but maybe also touching out to other disciplines, because some of the members, especially in our special interest groups, are not only computer scientists, but come from other fields, which might be of interest for your technologies and developments and ideas as well. Um, you will also um, benefit, hopefully, from ACM's experience in running conferences. You have mentioned the tricky things of running conferences in general, in the real world, in the virtual world, but even more in the hybrid world. And I can tell you, when I'm president, I was initiating a presidential task force, which is a special group that will look into specific topics. And the first task force would look into virtual conferences and the financial aspects and risks of virtual conferences. But we will continue to do so for hybrid conferences. And hopefully, we will be able to provide you with guidelines and also, hopefully, we can learn from each other, because now you gained a lot of experience in running such events. And ACM is not an organization that just provides something to you, but ACM is an organization of members, of 
volunteers. <laughs> so I also hope for your contribution and engagement within ACM. And the contribution and engagement could be, as I said before, from an organizational perspective, bringing in your ideas, also reporting your problems. If you are unhappy with some processes and procedures, just let the staff at headquarters know, and then we will always try <coughs> the best in improving the situation. But you can also contribute within your field of expertise. And the web conference is now an ACM conference. Specifically, it's a SIG web conference. SIG, as you probably know, stands for special interest groups. And these are the communities of interest that have been formed within ACM many, many years ago on the specific topics within computer science that are of interest to the specific sub-disciplines in our field. And SIG web hopefully will become also your home. I do hope that most of you, some of you, are already ACM members or SIG web members, and that you can thus actively contribute and shaping our futures. Because it's not ACM as an organization that's shaping the future, it is us, the scientific community. And with that, once again, thank you very much for this wonderful gift, and thanks to the organizers. I wish you a very successful this year's conference, and I'm already looking forward to the continuing series of ACM SIG web web conferences. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, sorry, Gabrielle, I walked straight past you. I have difficulty with my bad knee keeping balance at the moment, so that's why. I was <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so now it's my pleasure to introduce Dick Baltimore, who I've also known for a long time, and I remember Dick and Ivan running the 2000 conference 2000 in Amsterdam. And um, uh, it's not, um, um, and we couldn't have done this without Dick. He was our liaison with SIG Web. There's a lot of things. You've got two organizations with different sorts of cultures coming together. And um, so I, we couldn't have done this without you, Dick. And it, now he becomes, as of, he has already been shadowing the chairing the committee, and he's the, the chair of the first ACM steering committee for this conference. Dick, over to you. I'll stand here, then I can grab on to that. Oh, and Alan, uh, 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 here's, right. your, here's right. your gift. It isn't just the conference, you have your volunteer T-shirt, too. I have my volunteer T-shirt, too. <laughs> Wendy, thank you very much. There's an old saying that brevity is the soul of wit. Um, <laughs> but even if things run long, it can still be sort of amusing. So it's, uh, it's very nice for me to be here on behalf of uh, SIGWeb, principally to uh, welcome um, uh, the web conference at home, as, uh, as we've heard. Uh, SIGWeb has been in the greater web space for a long time. We organize uh, hypertext, but in, in addition to hypertext, also uh, web science, where Wendy is also a key player in uh, document engineering. And together with a host of other SIGs, uh, SIG Chi, SIG IR, um, uh, even uh, IEEE, we host another number of, of conferences that are, uh, are all in this space, Wisdom, uh, web, web and Data Mining, and, uh, and SICM, uh, Knowledge Retrieval, um, uh, a UMAP for uh, um, uh, user monitoring and uh, personalization. And in that whole sense, uh, the web conference plays a beautiful part. As a matter of fact, if you take up the total attendance of all of those six other conferences, the web conference is larger, which shows that the, uh, the large role that we hope to have the, uh, the conference play um, in the future. It's uh, been a good process to bring us together. I've been a past chair of the web conference. I have been a past chair of uh, SIG Web, and I'm now the chair of the steering committee. There are a number of, of important issues and challenges for us moving forward. And those challenges really need people to help us engage. You know, we have hybrid conferences now, and we're likely to keep having hybrid conferences for a while. We certainly will next year in uh, the venue that I think we'll be going to. Um, we know we're going to Austin. Oh, uh, we know we're going to Austin. It's the year <laughs> after that that we uh, think we know where we're going. Um, and Austin, uh, Austin will be, uh, um, uh, you know, for Texas is a great place to go to. But even if you can't come, it's still a great place for a hybrid uh, visit. So please put that on your uh, submission calendar. Um, and um, uh, making these conferences relevant not only to the larger community of scientists, but to the community of developers and people who work in the trenches of web technology. 
uh, many of which who are represented by the web conference and, and almost uniquely represented by the web conference. It's great to bring those people together and we look forward. So if you want to be involved in the process of moving this forward, join ACM, join SIGWeb. You, uh, you can be part of the committees. We're looking for new people. We are looking for a new future to make the, uh, the footprint smaller and the relevance larger and, uh, and to have this be the premier web technology conference going forward. So it's great to be here. I have got my volunteer t-shirt. I should have had the roped into t-shirt, but uh, um, there it goes. Um, you can admire our three pictures and you can uh, vote on which one you think is most representative of us today. And, um, and we look forward to having you here at the conference wherever you are, with our future editions, and I'm very excited, Wendy, ah, that we were able so to on, pull this so off. On. So, thank now, you all. Gabrielle is now uh, modeling oh, wow. yes. her volunteers, so, and I think we should have, I know this is all being recorded, can we have some still photos of us three, because this is a really important yes, point. Yes, Ah, okay, yeah. I think yours is fitting better yeah. than mine was. Okay, <laughs> let's just, 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 let's just move out here, right, okay. and let's do, can you take a still, put Gabrielle in the middle, Okay. Yeah. still put photos, so we can all three can. Right. This is a really big point. A round of applause, please. This is a moment of history. <laughs> oh.